Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that, sir, and good evening. What do cancel culture, censorship, vaccine mandates, lockdown orders, open borders, they are all instruments used by the left to control and silence us from engaging in our American democracy. They are used to shut parents up and call them domestic terrorists if they dare question government officials. I say it's time and it's enough. It's time to vote, retake our fundamental and God-given rights as Americans. My name is George Abuzade, and I'm running to represent South Carolina's fourth congressional district as a true conservative and an actual Republican. I'm a Christian, a husband, a father of four young, terrific boys. I'm a former naval aviator. I'm an airline pilot and I'm an upstate resident. But most importantly, I am a proud American. Thank you. And while I'm a Floridian by birth, I'm a South Carolinian by the grace of God. <laughs> There are three common questions I have received during the course of my campaign. Am I a part of the MAGA movement? What are my opinions of Trump? And why have I decided to primary a sitting Republican? Not just any Republican, my former boss. <laughs> I voted for President Trump in 2016. I voted for him again in 2020. And if he runs in 2024, he has my vote again. Under his leadership, our enemies feared us. Our allies respected us. And the nation flourished. However, like our American nation and our great Republican Party, we are not defined by any one man or person. We find our American identity through the values outlined in the Declaration of Independence the Constitution, the rule of law, and our faith. I'm primarying my former boss because there are some questions that need to be answered by Representative Mr. Timmons. And please feel free to call, text, or email his office some of these questions. We used to respond within 24 to 48 hours. Recently, Mr. Timmons was on a local radio show discussing how he has just completed another master's degree from New York University. Why does a congressman who misses five times as many votes as his colleagues have enough time to get an additional advanced degree? Huh. Why did it take Timmons over 50 days to sponsor legislation against Biden's vaccine mandates? Maybe he was too busy writing school papers rather than legislating. For those of us who depend on a paycheck, this needs to be answered. <laughs> I'll finish. I'll go real quick. <laughs> you guys want to hear some more? All right. <laughs> All right. In the last year and a half, William Timmons and his, has seen his district director, his outreach director, his communications director, his deputy chief of staff, and myself, a senior advisor, all resign. You didn't know that, huh? Why is he losing fast, uh, his staff faster than Vice President Kamala Harris? <laughs> <laughs> Regarding the swamp and government waste, why is William Timmons using federal tax dollars to pay South Carolina state lawmakers a federal salary? Did you know that's legal? And it shouldn't be. In fact, this individual has received over $54,000 of your money for doing absolutely nothing. This should be illegal and it's unethical. Why is William Timmons using federally appropriated funds to pay his family's interior designer thousands of dollars to decorate his district office? And I know that because I saw the bills. I thought he was a fiscally responsible conservative. As the Vice Chairman of the Modernization of Congress Committee, Mr. Timmons is attempting to use his influence to raise the amount of money <clears throat> he receives for his congressional allowance. Every Congress member gets a congressional allowance, and he wants to increase that. 
According to the Congressional Ethics Committee, congressmen, and congressmen are not allowed to pay, atten, uh, pay additional money for improvements to the offices that they rent. However, it, it, it creates a kind of kickback, which is dangerous for our democracy. However, he gets around this rule by raising the rent of the property to pay for upgrades to his office. As a Navy veteran, I was very disappointed to see William Timmons refuse to go to a D-Day veterans ceremony event because they did not want to set a precedent to go into these kind of ceremonies. As a former naval officer and a wounded warrior fellow, I understand that serving our country is a privilege. It is not a right. Trust is built through authenticity, accountability, and relationships. As your congressman, I promise to be actively in the district and to do what my former Navy commander called me, a reliable and capable pit bull. It's not enough to go to Congress and just push the Republican button when you have time. Your congressional representative needs to be present and serve the district with their most valuable commodity, their time. I stand before you this evening not only as a congressional candidate, but as a citizen who wants to protect and promote the guaranteed rights given to us by our founding fathers. We need, to make, we need to take a stand and make sure that we never feel comfortable with this new normal. We demand an end to big government mandates, corporate censorship of speech, cancel culture, hostility towards caring parents, and open borders. My parents, go ahead and clap, yeah. <laughs> 30, 30 seconds and I'm done. <laughs> My parents were both immigrants. I am the son of immigrant parents. However, they came here legally. They learned English. They assimilated. And they taught us to love this country and to never be ashamed of it. That's my, mo that's my mother right there. She's from Texas. <laughs> Let the elites... Let the elites and the political insiders know that we the people are not ashamed. We will not be canceled, bullied, or mandated into changing our deeply held values. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.